Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a Patreon requested video. And today we're going to talk about where to find hummingbirds if you live in an apartment or someplace where you can't set up hummingbird feeders or you can't plant native plants or something like that. So come along and enjoy this adventure. Well, my Patreon supporter wanted to know how do you take photographs of hummingbirds if you can't set up hummingbird feeders or plant native plants? Um, I've said this before, I'm sure everybody's sick of hearing about it. Go on eBird, and I did a quick search this morning on hummingbirds. Now, the person who posted this hummingbird here, they put a lot of detail in it. They talked about this willow tree that was here, and they talked about the jude weed that was here. So, um, I've seen that I have been here before, I said I'm going to go there and take pictures of it. But let's say you've never been here before. It's kind of a bigger risk at that point then. you got to kind of, uh, in this case, I'm driving down a road. But you would have to take into consideration what's there. We know where hummingbirds don't live. So what I would have done is driven down this road here until I saw, in this case, the jude weeds or something that looks like it would be really good for hummingbirds to be in. And I would set up here, and if I didn't see anything for like 20 minutes, I'd move on to someplace else. But in this case, I am, I've am i already seen eight or nine hummingbirds here. And so basically what I'm gonna do is set up my stuff, set up my tripod, put my camera on top of it, and I'm just gonna simply wait for these birds to show up. Let me talk about my setup real quick here. Um, I have my camera up on a tripod just for the simple fact that the camera's not sitting here weighing on me. It's also pointing in the correct direction. Um, one of the things that I like about the tripod is that um, I see a lot of people when they get tired, they'll put their camera down and when the bird comes, they have to go get it and not get the picture. Having the camera up on a tripod means that it's not weighing you down, but it's securely pointing in the right direction. I have my um, ISO at 1600, which is a little higher than I like to have it. I have the aperture open all the way at 6.3, and that's giving me a shutter speed between 650 and 2000 of a second, depending on where the bird is on this structure out here. And that's basically my settings. I'm just gonna sit here, wait for the bird to show up, and take their picture. Hummingbird number one. It was just sitting there on a stick. I think it's a juvenile bird, but uh, it's just great seeing a bird like this. Hummingbirds are one of my favorite birds to photograph. I think it's just because of the difficult level, but it's great seeing that first hummingbird. Or getting a photograph of that first hummingbird. Well, hummingbird two just came in. Um, this bird was feeding no more than 10 or 11 feet away from me uh, on some jude weed. It was really exciting. Um, I'm really hoping these pictures came out. One of the risks I take when I take these pictures is I record the video as I'm doing this stuff. So I look in the back of the camera, but I don't like to spend a lot of time looking at the back of the camera because I don't want to waste time that I could potentially be photographing other birds. So I'm kind of taking a risk here that this picture came out good, but we'll see what happens here. Well, I'm kind of excited. I had a blue-gray gnat catcher come in and I took its picture. Um, I'm not really moving around here because I'm seeing a lot of activity. Um, it's kind of different. Phot photographing hummingbirds can be very frustrating because they move so fast and they're so small that it seems like everything tries to block them. You get leaves from other plants that block them and other things like that. So sometimes getting a win by taking a picture of a relatively easy bird helps you a little bit. So here's a photograph of a blue-gray net catcher that I took that just flew in here. These are common birds here in North Carolina, but it's still another bird I took a picture of. Well, bird number three is a goldfinch. Um, these are fairly common birds here in North Carolina. They do breed and they do winter here. Um, but we do have a lot more this time of year. So goldfinch from the northern part of the United States and Canada migrate south to Florida and the uh, Gulf states 
but some of them do stay here all winter long. So we have uh, a resident population of goldfinches, and then we have the migrants that come in in the winter time. In the spring, we have them getting up in their uh, breeding colors and start doing the process in reverse. But getting a picture of a goldfinch is still a good picture to get, and I think that it's been a really good day out here. I'm kind of excited about this. Well, I have taken a lot of pictures of hummingbirds. To tell you the truth, I've taken about 500 pictures of them. But to be honest with you, out of those 500 pictures, I've probably got about 20 that are any good at all. And I think I might have five that are, I'm hoping I have five because I'm gonna show you five pictures of the hummingbirds that I've taken. And just to give you an idea of the pictures that I've been taking while I'm out here. And I'm very excited out here taking these pictures. It was a, I want to thank the Patreon supporter who suggested this because this would not have been one thing that I thought of doing. But I really think these top five pictures are really going to show you the quality of pictures that I've been taking. I have taken over 700 photographs today, which is a lot of photographs I'm gonna to have to go through of them. And to tell you the truth, I would say 650 of them I'm gonna delete out of hand because they're gonna be out of focus, something's gonna be in the way. So um, when if you ever go out for hummingbirds, just be prepared to take a lot of pictures because it helps you get those one or two really good pictures. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the video here. The hummingbird activity has really died off, but I've been out here for a few hours and I've had a really good time out here. Um, it's been exciting and a lot of energy. I am so glad that the heat has broken here in North Carolina. Right now it is in the 70s, and to tell you the truth, two weeks ago it was over 90 degrees every day. So um, I'm just having a wonderful time in this nice, cool weather. So I want to thank you for watching. If you want, enjoyed the video at all, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because it really helps us the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Lee. I want to thank you for watching.